So for those of you who are not aware, because maybe you do not always check uh, the game records that come out from week to week, this has been a rather interesting week where we've seen lots of people just losing all of their games. Uh, we've seen uh, Koji lose his games, we saw Li Cheng Ho, uh, Gu Li, um, <laughs> who else? Uh, Fan Tingu, we've seen a lot of people just like losing all over the place, but in it, amidst all of these games where people are just losing for some reason, uh, there is this game, which I think is actually pretty good. The reason why I'm going over it is because I, I don't know why, but lately I'm kind of on this influence kick, despite the fact that I hate influence. I, I've been really appreciating uh, influence style games. Uh, these, I don't know, past couple of weeks, I guess. But not not the Gote influence, don't get me wrong. I don't like the mood, the games where you're just like, hey, let's just play on all the darker points and then see what happens. Like, I like influence when you're fighting for it and it like, kind of grows while someone's trying to like kill something or, you know, things like that. that. That's what really gets my attention. And this game kind of falls into that sort of like category. So we've got this, let's see what did it? yeah, it's upper left first, okay. So we've got that, that, and that. We do not have orthodox, that helps. That helps, I'm, I probably wasn't in the mood for just like a quick orthodox game. So he approaches. White says, I want territory. Black says, okay. And then goes into an enclosure. So he's playing a little bit faster to develop for himself. Not bad. A lot of different ways you could handle this. Just for uh, reference, anyone hasn't seen this before, you could, for example, also play something like this. And if they back off, you could play something like this for development on the left side of the board. You could also approach over here. And if they back off like so, then you can do something along the lines of this, and then you can back off like so. These are all uh, pretty set Fuseki. Uh, KGS audio is enabled. Yes, if you have sound enabled, you should hear. Uh, so yeah, this are, these are all uh, set Fuseki. So it is just something that you can uh, experiment with if you so feel desire. Um, let's see, anything else you could experiment with here? I don't think so. Very rarely will we see something along the lines of this, where we just play out a Jiseki here. That maybe gets attacked, and then we defend, and then, you know, etc. It's usually regarded by uh, some people as being a little bit slow just to play out something like that. So we have a bit faster play here. Faster play is okay. White approaches, because this is a little bit slow. If we cut right now, we can take another enclosure. And then what? Now we've got like a really huge point on the right hand side we want to take, on uh, top we want to take, and on the bottom we want to take. Like white has four moves that he wants to preferably get like in short order. However, this, these two still aren't even completely dead yet. Like, we can back off here, and all white can really do is just be like, all right, I'm just gonna let you get a base then. Because we can't really keep applying pressure here. Let's see, do we have any, um... Ten, eight cues in the chat, out of curiosity? If so, does anyone know the correct counter to that move? As to why the push and the Hane and the cut we don't see, and why we usually see uh, something more along the lines of this. Anyone know why this doesn't work? Anywhere between 10 to like 8Q-ish. If you're like 5Q to like 9 Don, you should probably get this almost instantly. Might require a little bit of reading, but you should you should get this one almost instantly. If you can't, 
That's okay. But this stone can't actually survive. All we have to do is Atari it. Which seems disgusting. Because we certainly wouldn't want to, like, live on the second line like that. That would be, like, really, 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 really bad if we were just, like, crawling around everywhere, right? We would absolutely hate that. That would suck. Lucky for us, after the Atari, we can just go ahead and kill things. Because we've got two ladders that can't be defended against. This one and this one. So, yeah, this... This is completely fine for black. White can't play the cut. It just doesn't work. We have to go back and play here now, I guess. So rather than just getting like that smaller uh, base, we're getting a little bit of a larger base now. We still want to extend and actually use this influence as white. That's going to be in Gote. So yeah, a bit of a trick there. Cutting. Cutting too soon feels a little bit slow. Feels a bit small. You don't really want to do that. First line, best line, Ornable. Play all your moves in the first line and you will know exactly how the game is going to end. So we have this, and then we see a move. And little things make me really interested in the game. Like, little things make me want to review it. Because I would never play here as black. And the reason why I would never play here as, black, blah, 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 as black is because when we play this way, and then we go into normal Jiseki, there are certain things that we cannot do right now. We cannot play O5. O5 is out of the question. It can't be played. If we play O5, we lose the game. Like, almost immediately. It's kind of sad. Instead, he's going to play here and try to work with this stone. Now, the reason why I said 05 doesn't work, because of R9, because it's too far away. Usually, this kind of thing doesn't work. And you can see why it doesn't work, right? Because, like, oh my god. We have to, like, defend this group, and then I guess we're going to try and link up underneath. Doesn't work though, so the right is just completely dead. However, if the pincer was one closer, then we just play here and then connect, and then black just wins the game, I guess. So that one extra makes the most normal move, 05, pretty much invalidated, right? So he plays here instead. Forcing white to come out, then we go off and kill off the stone. We push forward, no need to give up the stone. And to settle it. Black now set aside what is large. Question number one, of course, is this going to be large? Is this turn going to be large? Well... It's a little bit small, now that white is nice and fine. So the answer to that is no. So we go and get our base. And he gets it, I want to get this right, he gets it here. Doesn't do the full approach, only does the three space extension. That way if we're invaded at A, we've got a nice response. Uh, on top, for example, at B, something like that. If we go over one more and then we're invaded, don't have a really uh, nice, easy way of dealing with that uh, invasion. And that would kind of be annoying. But we still treat it as an approach, so we back off. Black finally fixes his position here, or follows it up rather, it's not really fixing. Plays here. Now, normally this would be Sente, because the corner, if you can envision something like, I don't know, maybe. Uh, these stones being black right now, that's a pretty uncomfortable corner for white, right? So we usually defend it. So okay, we're not we're not gonna 
We're not going to do that, apparently. We're going to do this instead. Because if we do defend, you will notice that we now get a double wing for black. So that's a problem. That would, that would be an issue. So white says, you know what? I can't defend the corner. I'm going to approach you and see what happens. Ooh, key. Black says, got your corner. And now we have to figure out how to defend this. How are we going to defend this group? I could sit here all day and I would not come up with the answer. It's not on my radar because I don't see how this is going to relate to each other. In fact, this looks so unrelatable that if I caught my one of my students playing it, I would be content. I'd be pretty tempted to yell at them. Just be like, "What are you doing, man?" What I would have thought to do is maybe something like this, maybe something like this, just to make shape. Nope, c3, c3 is a defense, that would, that would make a bit more sense. White plays here. Like, okay, time to start defending our corner. But it looks like we're inviting black to be stronger around said corner, and I don't see where this is going. Like, at face value, I've got no idea. I mean, maybe if, I don't know, we play D10, we can link back up? But what if the, what about the drop down at B9? I guess the B9 maybe starts another fight? Or, I don't know. So, we probe first. And then continue attacking. Like, I'm really curious what this was gonna do. Because it looks like all I can see, at best, is giving these stones up, and then maybe going back and playing here to settle, but I don't like that either. So I'm not really sure where this was headed, you know? Because I mean, we could try to kill, but the whole killing thing doesn't really work out too well. I mean, even if we want to, we don't have to play there, we could play here, actually, can't we? Uh, eh, eh, yeah. So, can't really do that. So, we're going to get this done to us instead. So, that's 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 out of the question. So, I'm not really sure how, like, what, what this is going to do. But Black's like, okay, I'm just going to keep attacking you. White defends, black strengthens himself, and now we have a fight on our hands with a really weird looking B10 that has to be done, that has to do something. So white tries to come out with it. All right. Time to evaluate the board. I guess we could say that one is a bit of a weak group and two is a bit of a weak group. But we can also say A is a bit of a weak group, and so is B. So this is starting a fight in which there are four groups that are in trouble on the left-hand side of the board. Now we have a fight on our hands. So with all fights, we must decide what we're going to do. A weak group in between two weak groups is a strong group. Could be. Black gets ahead first, that is very true. But that's also implying that we're going to be jumping. To be fair, I'd, be, I'd probably want to do that too. I'd be thinking, alright, I'm just going to do something nice and simple like G7. That'd probably be my move. 
Instead, we see this. Give a little bit more shape to the upper left group. It now looks like a wonderful arrow. It's a pretty arrow, really. But we're not surrounded yet, so we can come out. So it is white. Black follows suit. Because now he's behind enemy lines, keep in mind. This little line here is easy to draw. We're behind it, so we're going to get out from it. And now, here's a question for you guys. Let's test your fighting skills. You are white. It is rather important that that which is weak stays weak. The highlighted KGS text. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the question is, since everything that is weak must stay weak, how do we attempt to do such things? Where is white's next move? Diesel's got the right idea, but Diesel, always think about Sente. Think about that Sente. Brepos with the Sente, yes. Took Diesel's idea of coming out and tried to do it in Sente. Absolutely. Red said resign. You want white to resign, Red? Where's your fighting spirit, man? We're fighting up in here. Now this instantly puts black behind enemy lines. So black says, can I cut through this? White says, are you tripping? And black says, I'm going to surround you. So we're slowly trying to surround the uh, left, but we're giving up potentially a little bit of the bottom for it. White says poke. Black says get lost. White says can I come out? Black says no. It's kind of why he uh, made the strong shape here. White says okay fine. Then I will just take the bottom for myself. Black's coming out and trying to connect up, but we're playing nice and slow and calm. He's not like, oh my god, connect! Because like, there's a lot of Aji behind. Same thing with here, a lot of Aji behind. There's like Aji here, there's Aji like here. Nice and calm. Strong shape. Can't kill off the stones. White says, can I cut you off? Black says, no, you cannot. I initially had a video on the B10 move. Where is the B10 move? B10, B10, B10. Do, 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 do. I don't think B10 is normal in this particular position, though, where you've got, like, the four groups. Or where you're being attacked here. It is definitely a cool move. But this one, I'm going to say it's a bit of a strange one. Because it seems like you're inviting uh, being surrounded. But maybe it's a compromise. Maybe it's a compromise. Bottom for middle. Or for left. Maybe it's a good compromise. So we do that. Now we go into here. Tries to cut through, same thing, same thing. This is really cool. Bamboo joints have never been so useful. Like this cut through says, I'm going to try and develop this, right? But this says, I'm going to kill your corner. And then this says, I'm going to kill your corner or I'm busting out of here. 
Nice, simple variation. It's like, all right, we're breaking out. Trying to keep something surrounded. Bottom is now successfully surrounded, it would appear. Um, black moves to surround now. Because white, to be fair, white did profit on the bottom. White got quite a, uh, quite a few points on the bottom of the board. However, the cost of that is the left-hand side, those stones. And now we're fighting off into the middle, right? And here is where we are all going to have to face our inner demons. Every last person. Uh, let's see. Atari. Extend. Connect. We're going to try and live with this group. Black moves to surround. White moves to capture. Threatens to link up underneath. Says no. Comes on out. Comes on out. And now here, a lot of people, a lot of crazy people, mind you, would be like, you know what? I'm going to try to keep this nice and netted so we can keep that middle dead. But the problem with that is that completely neglects the idea that you want to attack not to kill, but for profit. In your games, you want to attack to gain something. And as much fun as it is to gain a bunch of stones of your opponents that you can now call yours, you do want to attack to like build up points. So he's just like, okay, I'm going to build the right. White's like, I'm out of here. It's like, yep, you're out of here. It's like, no, really, I'm escaping. It's like, yeah, you're totally escaping. And this wall towards the right-hand side is being built. Connects on up. Just solidifying all of that. It's a complete jailbreak by White. White's getting out of here. Tries to cut off half of it. I would have played L12 too, but the purpose was to kill. I know, it's so dangerous, right? We all... Oh, you would have played L12 too. Oh, I see. I got you now. Tries to come out. That's a snapback. But maybe there's something here. Um, where was I? Yeah, this is a bit complicated. Because we've got this. And that's actually horrifyingly complicated. Because if we extend, and we're not going to, but if we extend, he plays here. The idea behind the extension is this. The only way out of here now is the Atari, right? And then, like, the Atari. But then that means there's also an Atari here. So are we going to, like, back off? Because then the top really grows larger because white just captures. Kill is a lot of profit. That, I guess kill is a lot of profit. No, not that stupid. Kill is a lot of profit. That is true. So white plays the Atari. We get to cut in. Trying to keep most of the right side if we can. This is getting complicated. Everyone's trading everything. That's the sign of a great game, let me tell you. When you no longer know what's going on in it. All right. So here we go. It looks like black managed to break into the bottom a little bit. White got a little bit more on top, 
potentially a little bit more if he gets a move like G15. There's a bunch of territory there. Did come at a little bit of a cost. Connects the stones on up. This is important because it's starting to look up the stones on the left hand side. If uh, white plays G11 right now, we connect and then get captured. So that's a must. And then now that that's all gone, we can just go and connect on, on up. Easy peasy. Can we count how many groups have less than two liberties? Not many have less than two. They usually have less than or equal to two. Extend and snapback, I feel like I missed something. Okay, where's the extend and snapback? One second. Oh, I see you're saying, you're, you're saying back here. Oh, okay, you're saying back here, yeah. You want to extend here. Okay, so then we go back and play here, right? Because we're starting to kill. And now white doesn't want to be dead. Or black doesn't want to be dead, so black has to Atari, and to Atari to come out out, okay? But then we get to a, uh, 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 do, uh, actually, wait, am I missing something? Hmm, I see what you're saying. You're saying extend here and then snap back. I had a reason not to do that. Oh, then you're, yeah, white can P7. Yeah, white can extend. There you go. Hmm. So we can't really keep all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't really keep all of this, right? Something has to give. And Black said, you know what? I'm going to give the top. And you're going to give me the middle. The middle bottom. So mad level exchanges were taking place. This is Sente. And now white's gonna break. I like this. Kinda got that Mia cutting point uh, going for it. Start and take the right hand side again for himself. White says, can I live with this? Black says, no. Well, what if I Hane? Then I will Atari. And if I connect, then I will double Hane. Seems like it's going so far so good. Connect on up. Now you have to be careful because we have a cutting point as well. He defends a corner ish area. That's now a ladder, so we're going to have to take. And just like that, White picks up a little bit more for himself. So, in the current state of the board, Lower left and bottom right corners are have gone for white, which is nice. Left side of the board is gone for black, though. And I'm sure most of you have uh, noticed that there is this itsy bitsy little co in the middle of the board. So that's a thing too. Black defense. White maximizes territory. I don't think we go here, do we? No, we don't. Defending. White tries to take. Now we're in a bit of a cow in the middle of the board. Black says you can connect up if I get to live in your corner. White says die. It's like, okay, you can connect up. Or wait, what? Like, you can keep that dead if I can connect up my, uh, someone on the left-hand side. Black says no. So we return to cup. Still wants the corner. 
Still dead. Really, 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 really wants those stones back. This is never a good sign. Usually means you're about to get ignored. But instead, does keep the stones dead, and back to Ko we go. Drops down, drops down, a Ko we go. Threatens to connect. Free connection. And then connects. So he takes the middle stones, but it looks like the left hand side ones get to connect on up. So he connects like so. But there was a slight mistake. The large portion of those stones don't get to connect up because that first line you can't actually connect to. We can just extend and extend and that's the end of that. So white takes, black defends, white tries to go into the corner, black defends, Every cube player's favorite move. Just make the dual pokey point. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm a noob. Play here because we get the furry. There we go. Dual pokey point, no work. So sad. It almost worked. You saw what I clicked without even thinking about it, huh? And then if we go back and play here, we tricked our opponent. That would have sucked. But that's really nice. That is really cool. If we play here, we can play there. If we play there, we can do this in Sente, which is kind of nice. This other way, though, is interesting, though, because this way, black ends in Gote. So white comes in. Gets to take as a result. Atari. Remove those. Threaten to connect up underneath. Black says, no, you cannot. And from here... Oh, wait, what? I thought, okay, there's a few, I thought there's a couple more moves. I thought that was the end of the game. My bad. Um, so here we have endgame. And we want to contemplate endgame where we have large points. One thing that's pretty large right now is this. Because if we play elsewhere, then we've got things like this we have to worry about. Right? We can't play that. So that's Ko now. So that's pretty big. So black plays that. White's looking to link up underneath. Large endgame points. Take back the three stones. Large point there as well. Threaten to link up all of our stones. That's not good. Looks like forcing. Uh, Cyber Cage says B9 is bigger than Q19. B9. B9 is how many points is B9 worth? This is Sente, I will grant you. But no. 
the up, uh, upper left is still very, very large. And it's not like, yeah, yeah, as I was pointing out in chat, it's not like red, or it's not like red, it's not like uh, white is going to suddenly play b9 in exchange, right? Um, you don't know that he's going to play. No, you don't know that. If it was a solid capture, that'd be one thing there, Cyber Cage. But playing the Atari, you don't actually know if that's going to be Sente, right? Let's, let's, let's look at that real quick. Let's say... Like, okay, we're going to play here, but first we're going to play here, right? To get the Atari in. But then our opponent doesn't care, and we play here. So we take. And then... We get to play uh, here as well, because why not, right? And then maybe we get to push and then connect. Like, Order of Sente really, really mad. Like, was that really worth taking one, two, three, four, five stones in Gote? I don't know. Like, you have, you have a lot of uh, calculation that has to be done in order to decide if you want to do that or not. Hanil says B9 is reverse Sente 2. Q19 is 6 Gote. Hanil is a counting master. Where was I in the game? Here, off over to there, not to there, to this one. Yeah. And that gets taken. Throwing on in. White extends. Black says I don't care. White kills off the top stones. And then white resigns. So what I liked about this game, a couple of things I liked about this game. Uh, one, not so orthodox play. Two, I liked that we attacked from the center to kind of build the right first and foremost rather than any other direction, right? We were building the top, we were building the right rather, we weren't trying to attack from the top. Granted, when we saw an opportunity, we did cut through, but we don't even care if this lives really. Like if this just went ahead and lived, that's a really good result for black, because he's making sure to attack for profit. The fact that things died is completely... Uh, that's just a bonus, right? So I, I like that kind of development. I also like this rather odd uh, play in the bottom left-hand corner. Into the four weak groups. And we've got an idea of how Black wanted to handle that, rather than just, let's say, I'm gonna jump, you're gonna jump, we're all gonna jump together, right? We're not we're not playing the jumping game. Cause all this does is just kind of like destroy the middle of the board for no good reason. The counterattack, the lean and sente is kinda cool. Losing these stones is unfortunate, but we get profit on the bottom, which is kind of nice. Cutting through is big, but being able to cut into it is also really, really nice. There are a lot of reasons why I like this game. There are, a bunch of, there are a lot of cool moves, a lot of cool moves. And I hope you enjoyed the game as well for those said cool moves. Now, what time is it? We began 10 minutes early. I could do something about that. Is 20 minutes enough time to actually go over another game? Where was the other game? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. This game was kind of cool. But it's much too long to go over in the time we have got left. I 
Does anybody want to see some quick murder? Do you want to see some quick murder? Let's look at some quick murder. Just to round out the time. Let's look at some quick murder. Uh, rules real quickly. Who cares who black is? Who cares who black is? This is one of the games uh, that uh, Keshi played recently that he actually won. Good for him. So it starts off fairly normally with dual four fours from Mr. KG into a rather boring Kobayashi, right? Who would ever want to play this game? Because now we're going to just go ahead and play our six, and then they're going to do something, and we're going to respond. Or we can attack this immediately. I like that idea. So it immediately goes into a fight for, uh, for our lovable Chinese player. Black attacks, uh, strengthens himself. Gotta love that. Attaching for strength. Why ask to decide what he want to do? He allows black to connect back up, which he does. Does not go into the corner, interestingly enough. And now we've got a nice solid base. So what is this group doing? This group is doing nothing. It's approaching the, up the right hand corner. That's what we're doing. Black takes more territory. And it looks like at this point that white is just kind of plopping stones around. Like, you know what, I'm just going to play lightly and just use stuff later. I mean, L4 has purpose later on. I mean, the Q5 has purpose later on. I'm not really committing to anything right now. Black, black, on the other hand, unlike the previous game where we didn't cut immediately, here he wants to cut immediately to grow the bottom area. He didn't play Kobayashi after all. So white reapproach, just say that's completely fine. Black settles in a pretty older variation. And then moves to save his stones finally. Like so. But once again, we're still playing light. We're still playing like really light play because the top at N16 just got a bunch of cut points still. Uh, we got this like large knight thing here happening in 015 and R14. And a super duper large knight at Q11 to R7, which black attacks immediately. And this is where the fun begins. So we attach. Interesting inside Hane. Or is that an inside Hane? Yeah, it is. They go ahead and cut and play here. Like, that doesn't work, though. That doesn't work. I and mean, we can just Atari down. And that, that's what he wants to do. He wants black. He wants white to play this way. Right? This is what he's looking for. Like, yeah, look at me. I'm making, I'm making like, the strongest player in China right now. Like, over-concentrated and all that stuff. But white's like, you know what? You're not making me over-concentrated. What? Yeah, we're going to tire the other side. We're going to tire from here. So we're not, we're going to avoid that whole getting over concentrated thing and we're going to tire from here. So now what do you want to do? A bit of a fight ensues. Trouble living locally. Let's see what happens. Black's like, well, I guess I'm just going to kill you then. Creates a cut point, then pushes. Has to link up underneath, or attempt to. Double Hane. Does leave a cut point behind, but that's completely A-OK. -okay. Because there are two ways to handle this. Like, even right now, even right now, this already works. Yeah, yeah, as Red just said. Even right now, this works. Because if we connect, we can descend, and then, like, 
we can't play here and we can't play there because we Atari ourselves. But we don't want to like play that either just yet. So he actually connects. Because if we play here, now we're going to throw in white plays the Atari, or black plays the Atari. Now we cut through and we didn't have to give up that extra stone. So we're a little bit more solid, which is cool, which is very, very cool. So that, that one little extra bit of reading, like, you know, do I really have to give up R12, R14? Like, no, I guess not. Okay. Now we approach here, and we've got obvious profit that we can build. We've got, like, this huge honking wall that we can, you know, try and do something with. So white's just like, okay, I'm going to back off then. I don't care. White goes in the corner, or black goes in the corner. White pincers, because if he chooses this variation, holy crap. That goes exactly with what we want to do in the center of the board. That's that's cool. So black's like, uh, no. I'm gonna need, I need to attach this. So, no. I, I can't be surrounded. So we go here. Now, I would play the C617 and then just look to do something like this. With maybe some kind of middle move-ish thing. But white's like, you know what? No, I got Sente. I, I can... Oops. Yeah, here we are. No, we're not. We're here? Yeah. White says he has Sente from this point, so we need to go ahead and jump forward. Just jump on out. Maybe he can get more influence for himself. Black follows. White leaves. Black goes back and connects. That's not that. That's not a connection. Never do this, by the way. Double digit Q players. I'm talking to you specifically. Don't probe cut points. Not even misclicking. So we go ahead and connect. Now here is where. Again, I'm not thinking about weak groups at this point. I'm just looking at that wall and thinking, oh my god, I want to use that wall for something. I want to, like, I don't know, maybe cap at, oops, there we go. I want to cap at, like, Q8 or, I don't know, come out on the top or somewhere. Because, like, there's, like, a large amount of influence and I really want to start turning that into territory. But white is more aggressive than I am. He's like, yeah, that's, there's a lot of stuff that's up there. Let's go attack this instead. There's a weak point behind. There's a weak point here. So we try to connect underneath. It's like, there's still a weak point there. So we connect. There's still a weak point. So we connect. And the corner is now dead. So that was pretty profitable. That was pretty profitable indeed. Black's like, that's fine. I'll attack you back. We'll make a little bamboo joint. Defending ourselves. We're isolating these black stones now. And now I want to go back and highlight that real quick. Like a lot of people right now would be like, you know what? I need to like do something with this. Or do something with this. Or do something with that. To try to develop. Where... Uh, good old uh, Kashi is not doing any of those things. He is instead looking for the weak points, looking for the weakest groups. Like not like yeah, territory. That's that's the thing that you get when your opponent's dead, right? Yeah, sure. There we go. And he's trying to unsettle. He's trying to unsettle his opponent. And after I got one of my groups killed, and my other isolated, I don't know about you, but I'd be pretty unsettled. So we've got to connect. Now he takes his corner. Black comes into attack. White just takes his corner. 
You know White's feeling pretty happy about himself right now, and you can see why. Because where is Black's territory? Black's territory is his bottom right hand, whatever this is. And the upper right hand, whatever that is. But White has Comey, which we all know is OP. He's got the upper left corner, the lower left corner now, development potential in the middle, and a few stones on the right hand side that are dead. So, he's living pretty happy right now. Is this being streamed on KGS? This is in fact KGS, yes. Hence the chat that is right down there. Okay, you're right. No is being streamed on Twitch. You're correct. That's a good point. Alright, so we need to reduce. So bam, we're going to attack. No connection, no nothing. Make heavy. Still undercut though. Still undercut black is. So black jumps out, but we don't care because it's undercut still. That's huge, threatening to link up underneath. Like if we play away, and we get this, then that suddenly development right there. That right there looks like such a tiny move, but it's not. It's like, you know what, I can just completely surround you right now, if, if you don't mind. Am I allowed to do that? Is, that? is that a good thing? You don't care, do you? Turns out black does care. Alright, so can I get life in the corner? No. Okay, can I kill your base? Attach for defense. We're weak right now as black, so we're attaching to the strong group in order to try and not be as weak as we currently are. Defense. Time Suji, I'm thinking. There's life and death at the top of the board. He's just borrowing time right now. This part, however, is really strange. Like, he's kind of leaving the upper side to attack. I guess he's deemed that he's... That he's good enough as is, which is brave. That is incredibly brave. T5? What's T5? Oh, the corner, yeah. Mm. So White's just like, okay, yep. I'm just gonna back off here. You can connect. At this point, I would have a sense of elation that I just got away with something. It's like, okay, I just played away from the strongest attacker in China attacking one of my groups. But it's okay because I played away just so I could like punch him in the face as I try to steal his points in the bottom left hand corner of the board. This will go well for me. So how do you guys attack the top group? How do you start? I mean, you have to. You attacked him, and your attacks were went largely ignored. His stones are insulting you. K15. Probing there. Hmm. I would go for the flamethrower. I'd make. Oh, that's that's bad. You don't want to burn the go board, man. Some of these boards they play in are pretty expensive. You know how long it takes to dry out some of those boards? Eek. J16, so says red, and if it's true, we're gonna cut them in two groups. Just try to cut him. We're getting into a knife fight. Alright, try to kill our stones off. I vote no to that. Borrowing strength to try to attack the top the bottom group. Let's see, see how many uh, force moves we get from here. Okay. That looks genius. Look at this. Look at that. Look how genius that is. 
Like we're borrowing strength attacking this group in order to make the top good. Holy crap, who is black? What did he have in his breakfast this morning? Because that is, that's, that's a genius way to just like put the pressure back on your opponent. That is amazing. And that apparently is why he was so confident that he could play away. It's like, yeah, you're you're like weak on the bottom. Cutting through. Threatening to kill. White says uh, black says no. So he says, I'm just gonna profit. Ah, uh, now white's ignoring black. Okay, so black's like, oh, what about this group? Like, I'm gonna go this way. Hmm. Hmm. But can't I cut that off? I don't know, can you? It, it looks like I can cut you off. It's like, are you sure about that? But we can't cut him off. We, we're we so close. We're, we're literally one line away, but we can't. Because if we go here, sorry, I'm retarded. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm retarded. Yeah, we play 06 first. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then if we do this, then we can do that. Then we can do that. Then we can do this. Then we can do that. Then we can do that. It doesn't work. Joy. So white, or black says, you know what, I would cut you off, but oh, I just remembered I have other things to do. I, 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 I would totally kill you, but I, I got a thing. So he defends himself. Which means white gets a counterattack. Black pulls back. White jailbreaks. And all we have to do now is live in the middle of the board is black. We look a wall, we've got some stones. Those are cut off. Now we're trying to make a base. Because white's not completely okay either. I mean, like the N15 uh, thing. Gotta be careful of that one, right? So I gotta defend right now. Again, defense, defense needed, defense needed. We're trying to kill still as, as black. I like black. Black's cool. You know what? Black, you earned your name. You earned your name on this board. I almost misspelled it twice. Good thing you can't see that, huh? Thank you for following person who I'm not looking at right now. Um, awkward? I will thank you after the, after the stream. So yeah, Black is a 9 down. You can see why. He's not taking his lying down. He's trying to he's trying to fight back. But White likes fighting, so he's doing it too. Whoops, my bad. Not right. Not that. No, 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 no. There we go. Defense. Surround. <sighs> now what? Atari. Connect. Looks like we're living. After the Hane, we're now alive. Oh, well, I gotta connect now, I guess, yeah. Now we're alive. There we go. So all black has to do now is just not be dead anymore in the middle of the board. But he just gave us Sente. So we get to poke the cut point. You know that thing I told all of you guys not to do? You shouldn't do it unless it's for the greater good. Is the moral of that one. Black plays there. White cuts. Now why did he do that? Problem here, we're kind of not not seeing where the eyes are right now. That's a problem. Okay, yeah, technically it's not a cut if you can't cut. That's true. That's true, Gobaduck. So alright, we're cutting the two groups now. And you guys all know the sad story on how that ends. That ends with Black resigning right now because he's dead. 
pretty much all in the middle of the board. He's 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 pretty much dead. Because he doesn't have any eyes anywhere. So he decides to he decides to resign. I love the attack, the counterattack in the middle though. I don't care that he lost and his counterattack died. I still like those counterattack moves that he that he tried there. That was cool. That was that was some nice counter punching. Not just trying to live. Shame he's dead, but that was sweet. So I hope you enjoy this nice, quick little, uh, this little murder fest. And hope you enjoyed the influence game before it. Not sure which one you enjoyed more. Those of you who are watching this later on on YouTube, do let me know in the comments what kind of game you actually prefer watching. I don't ask that enough. Do you enjoy influence games more often? Newer games, older games, murder fests? What what do you enjoy seeing? Uh, look forward to seeing uh, comments about that in uh, the comment section down below. I'll be paying attention to that most definitely. You all know what my answer would be. I like murder fests. Take care, everybody.